and the gallery space, that lounge area Stephen mentioned, as well as the banquet hall. So it really depicts it a little better here. Um, walking in the door, we'll be doing a walk off carpeting on the floor. That's this darker one you might see here. It's meant to really take off salt and water kind of stuff when you come in. So this will be here and it'll also walk, come into the building some distance. And then in this space here is where you would put your coats away. So you come right in this little door, put your stuff away. Again, that flooring will be absorbing a lot of that water coming in off, especially in the winter. Um, and then you come into this space where we have um, this little bit darker, I'm calling it charcoal, for lack of a better word. But this sort of carpet, which hides a lot of soil, yet it <coughs> has a lot of life to it. It's very durable. Um, it's a very standard commercial carpeting. So it really is very great for soil hiding and the fiber is antimicrobial and very easy to clean. So that should last you a long time. What we're trying to do here is really give you finishes that stand the test of time. I don't want to give you anything that's too fashionable that you know fades away in a couple of years. We want to give you something that really is going to last and feel good even 10, 15, 20 years down the road. So what we've done is really play off a lot of the uh, features of these buildings. If you haven't had a chance to go, try to follow us after this program. We'll show you. There's an existing ceiling that's a barrel vault, and it's wood, and it has lots of wood ribs on it. We really wanted to work with that. It's a really neat look. So we have that. You can see it a little bit better in this image if you get a chance. I know you're, some of you are sitting pretty far away. Um, but you can see that big wood ceiling up there. And what we've done is put in, uh, I, we call them sails, but they're sail-shaped elements. Those will help with acoustics and also bring the ceiling down a little bit just for a more cozy sort of feeling. Um, these are very high ceilings. We wanted to have some seating areas where it was more of a nine foot height and felt a little more residential and comfortable. So what we'll be introducing that, we call them clouds, <laughs> a cloud ceiling within that space. Um, so those, space, and Stephen's going to hold up a, a reflected ceiling plan here, you're going to be walking in here, and then these are these uh, sails or elements I'm talking that we're suspending in the ceiling. Um, they will be, and if you look at this view, it's a little easier to tell. Um, if you come in the front door, you'll take a turn to the right, and there's a fireplace there, and then there's some of these elements that make the ceiling lower and also help with acoustics. And as you head down that direction, this is the view you'll have. As you're heading back toward the banquet hall. And again, those elements are here. There's an existing door that's a big bifold wood door that we're going to plan to reuse. We're going to strip the paint off and just have it set up so it's like a rolling barn door. So it'll be a nice feature. We're just using some of the architecture that's there. Chances are it'll probably be rolled open all the time. But <laughs> it's a nice thing to see as you sit there. So we're trying to work with all the elements that are existing and then just play off them and try to make it a warm and cozy space. And this is just if you came in the door and turned to the left. I can help you look at these two if you come up here later. If you come in the front door and then head left, you'll pass the reception desk and then head down the hall, which is leading back to all the amenities back there, these offices. Sorry to be jumping. You come in the door and head left, you'd have that view and then you can go back here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, this is, these are all the different, um, you know, the disability benefit specialists and all the different offices back here. And also, there are some activity rooms here and a art room. And for that, um, we're going to switch from carpet to um, a more athletic flooring, which is this one with the cushion back. So this will, this is where all those maybe yoga classes or some athletic things happen. So we wanted the floor to have a little bit of a, yeah, a little bit of a push to it. Um, then there's also the fitness room right here, which would have more of a standard floor like this, which maybe you've seen at a YMCA. It's where the treadmills will sit in that kind of type of flooring. And then in the uh, restrooms, we're going to switch to a porcelain tile. There's one on the floor here if you want to take a look too. Um, it's, it's playing off the colors again. And we're working again with that existing wood. You'll see it. It's kind of a honey color. And that's, why we're, that's where this whole palette came from. We're just working with the wood that's there. The walls in general would just be a light paint color. I've got a couple of those. Being that the floor, the ceiling is so interesting, 
and our floor does have a fair amount of pigment going on, the walls would really just be more light reflective. There's not a lot of need to do a lot with the walls when you have such interesting things going on everywhere else. So we're proposing more of a neutral wall. In some places, maybe having you know, a darker one being an accent here or there, but in general, more worried about the light reflective. 